Penn State was flying high, ranked number three in the country and ready for a showdown with arch rival Michigan. The Wolverines had beaten them nine straight times, the last four by a touchdown or less. On a pristine October Saturday in central Pennsylvania, the returning alumni were ready for a different result for homecoming, but instead were stunned at how things started, with Brandon Miner running for big chunks of yardage. Third and one from the eye. Miner left side through a big hole. Touchdown, Michigan, and take the lead. Offensive mistakes marred Penn State's first two drives, but even then there were signs that Evan Royster was on his way to a career day. Clark in the gun, motion by Schuler toward us. Clark, quarterback draw to his right, follows Kadogan to the 50, Michigan 45, fumbles the football on the ground, Michigan's got it. It is Michigan football at the 46-yard line. Three, inside and off minor, 50. 45, 40, Scarano's there to take him down to 30, 25, 20. They still can't get him down. Gives the ball to McGuffey. Tripped up by Navarro Bowman. No gain. In fact, he lost a half yard. Put down. They will kick, and it's up. And that kick by LaCasey Lapata is good. It's 10-0 Michigan. Over 110,000 grew restless at the lopsided first quarter, but Chaz Powell energized the Nittany Lions with a big kick return to near midfield. Penn State had not trailed by more than a touchdown all season. There was no panic, and it would take just two plays for the Lions to get on the board. Out of the gun, it's Royster. Up the middle, breaks one tackle, spins ahead, breaks three, 30, 25, 20. Evan Royster, touchdown, Penn State, a spectacular run inside by Evan Royster, who brought several tackles and scored it through, and the Nittany Lions dramatically get on the board. This looked like a one-yard gain at best for Royster. He gets spun around a 360 right in the hole, right up the middle. He just turned around, continued to go forward, broke the tackle, and went right up the middle for the touchdown. Kelly will kick off. Sam McGuffey from the goal line. He lost the football. Michael Monty knocked it out, and the Wolverines got it back. Watch Monty come in here and deliver the blow. That's a knockout shot right there, putting his helmet right on the ball, and you know it's a good hit when the running back goes backwards. The Wolverines dodged a bullet, and as the quarter changed, they would get the seven points right back. Again, it would be Brandon Miner who restored the 10-point advantage. And that's when the game started to turn around. Penn State would not allow another first down to Michigan over their final four possessions of the half. Back goes three, in trouble, gets away, and spin, and then flips the ball to Miner, who's then hit by Fazio and dropped it the 26-yard line. They will punt the ball away. The crowd here finally getting involved on a third down play. Good pressure that time by the Penn State defense. Nothing open downfield. Penn State defense right now. Tom Braddock kind of shifting around his linebacker. Packers. This, but it's all going to start with that front four. They cannot allow Michigan offensive line to knock them off the football. Adjustments had been made. Holes had been plugged, and the heat was on. And while the Nittany Lion defense helped change the momentum, the offense made the makeover complete. The two-minute drill at the end of the half has been a specialty for this group all season. But this one, using pass, run, and clock, without a doubt, was the most meaningful. It's Royster again, following Wisniewski, 30. Swings it outside with a block from Williams at the 25, to the 20. And Evan Royster inside the 20 to the 19-yard line. Wisniewski and Williams, critical blocks. And Royster just keeps bouncing it and bouncing it and bouncing it to the outside. So Royster now on the move. Eight carries, 105 yards for Evan Royster. For Royster, his sixth career, 100-yard rushing game, fifth this year. Clark, back to pass, sets, waits, throws in the end zone. Touchdown, Penn State, Jordan Norwood. Norwood's catch with 23 seconds left pulled Penn State within three at the break, but it was worth much more than just seven points. It was a statement that the second half would start differently, that the first quarter had been a mirage. They backed up that statement with a dominating second half. Penn State started the day at the top of the Big Ten standings, the only unbeaten team in the conference, and they were determined not to let Michigan change any of that. Play action, Clark. Steps up, trouble, over the middle, Butler, first down, 40-yard line. Great adjustment by Butler on the ball after Clark hung tough in the pocket. Clark, 
Throws for Norwood. Blocked by Butler, 45. Norwood breaks the tackle, 40. First down inside the 40. Back he goes. He wants Williams or Cadogan in front. 40. There's Owen Norwood with another block, 35 to the 30. Penn State had not trailed at halftime all season, but they responded to the adversity Joe Paterno had been wanting them to experience with poise and determination. Kevin Kelly tied the score, the 28th straight game that he's kicked the field goal. And then his booming kickoff put Michigan in poor field position. Runs it near side, in trouble, and down he goes. Josh Hall decks him at the eight yard line. In this end zone, right near the student section, it is the loudest part of Beaver Stadium. He's in the end zone, he has time, he's in trouble, and down he goes. Penn State takes the lead on a safety, Jared Audrick. Three straight plays, the Penn State defense pushed Michigan backwards and it got them their first lead of the game. The Nittany Lions responded to that by immediately adding to it. Deion Butler would have a season-high eight catches to the deafening delight of the masses, which carried the Lions on a wave of momentum. Royster up the middle, now breaks it to the right. Tries to turn the corner, does 20, 15 to the 10, Royster to the five, at the one. Kadogan, the big offensive tackle, and Clark throw a block. There, that's the way quarterback, that's how you get people freed up. Clark, quarterback sneak, right side, they push for pile, touchdown, Penn State, and the Nittany Lions showing that killer instinct at home. Penn State now with all the momentum with 3.04 left to go in the third quarter. Tracked out for a loss, game tackle back in the 16-yard line. What a play by Maurice Evans. Vasco, rugby punt. Blocked! It's blocked by Stupar! It rolls to the 25, it'll roll to the 37-yard line! But Penn State gets the block punt, Nathan Stupar! What had started as a disappointing afternoon had turned into a homecoming party in the shadows of the evening. All facets of Penn State's game were operating at full capacity. The Lions have outscored opponents 87 to 13 in the third quarter, a tribute to an experienced coaching staff that readjusts. Penn State defense really has picked it up. I don't know what Tom Bradley stole that defense on the sideline, but they have, like I said, since midway in the second quarter, have picked it up. Here comes the bus by Bowman. Back goes three. Sets. Hit by Maven. Bubbles up football. Penn State's all around it. Let's wait and Penn State recovers. Aaron Maven off the edge. There's the first takeaway of the game for the Nittany Lions, and it could not have come at a better moment. Throws over the middle. He's got Norwood 10 5. Far corner. Jordan Norwood. Following your review, evidence shows. The runner was down. The ball is at the one foot line. First and goal, the one foot line. You got a big, strong quarterback behind a tough center in Shipley. Just sneak it over there. Quarterback sneak, Daryl Clark. Touchdown, Penn State. The Nittany Lions now have that 35 17 lead. And Penn State this year has 51 points off of takeaways. Beaver Stadium was pulsating as only it can. The Nittany Lions would score 39 unanswered points to beat Michigan by the most lopsided score in the series. The final gem is screen pass from Pat Devlin to Stephon Green, sending the homecoming crowd into the night, buzzing about what they had just witnessed. Stephon Green, touchdown, Penn State, an 80-yard touchdown pass. Another major hurdle awaits in Ohio State, but for the 10th time under Joe Paterno, Penn State has started a season 8-0. and